Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Starting off with weather, sponsored by One Hour Air, no matter the season, no matter the reason, One Hour is here for you. A major storm front that has already wreaked havoc in parts of California is now making its way to southern Nevada. We started seeing heavy rain earlier this afternoon and into the evening hours, along with strong gusts at around 20 miles per hour, even reaching up to 50 in parts of the valley. Nearby mountains are seeing up to a foot of snow in the highest elevations. In most areas, the rains have ceased, but we're looking at a chilly and windy night, with gusts remaining at around 20 miles per hour and temps already in the 40s. The winds should taper off by Wednesday, but the chilly temps are here to stay, with a high of only 50 degrees and low of 32 degrees. Expect similar conditions on Thursday before sunny skies return Friday and Saturday. In business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada, Bank on Accountability. Station Casinos plans to build another casino in the Las Vegas Valley. That's in addition to the $750 million resort currently being built near IKEA in the Southwest Valley. According to city documents, this latest one-story project would be built downtown on Fremont Street under its Wildfire Casinos brand. Now to an update on the renaming of McCarran International, one of the busiest airports in the country. Its social media accounts have already been updated with its new name. Review Journal's Renee Summerauer takes us to the rebranding ceremony. Renee. Jen, today Las Vegas' airport is being renamed Harry Reid International Airport after the longest serving senator in Nevada's history. The name was approved by the Federal Aviation Administration and the Clark County Department of Aviation, along with other prominent Nevada figures. The move was speared by criticism of Pat McCarran's record, calling it a dark legacy of racism, anti-Semitism and xenophobia, even though he has been credited with helping to shape the modern air travel industry. My dad was born in a two-room shack in a lonely spot in the southern Nevada desert. This city, it too relied on the grit and determination of a small circle of people. So it's understandable that we would name this airport after that man in this place. One sign that will not change is the original McCarran Field sign at the entrance of the executive terminal off Las Vegas Boulevard. And the three-letter airport code LAS will still remain the same. Jen. In other top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at NevadaHand.org. We now know what caused the death of a young Las Vegas woman killed in Henry Ruggs' DUI case. According to the coroner's office, 23-year-old Tina Tintor died from the fire erupting after the former Raiders player's sports car crashed into her SUV. They've ruled her death an accident. Other conditions contributing to her death were inhalation of combustion, bone fractures, and internal bleeding. Over in downtown Las Vegas, police are trying to track down a man who they say fatally stabbed another man in the neck overnight. They say it happened on the sidewalk of Las Vegas Boulevard, and the 55-year-old victim had an altercation with another man before the stabbing. All we have right now is a limited description on a suspect uh, being a light-skinned male, uh, possibly six feet tall, uh, dirty clothes, last seen running eastbound through the 1200 block. Anyone with info is urged to call Metro Police. In Health, sponsored by 4M Dental, love your smile again. Breaking today, health officials are looking into the first Omicron variant case here in Clark County. They say the individual is a fully vaccinated woman in her mid-20s who has not received a booster dose. No word on her symptoms. Even vaccinated residents are urged to be vigilant about masks and sanitizing. And so it looks like Nevada's mask mandate is here to stay for a while. Clark County's case rate per 100,000 people stands at around 151. To exit the mandate, Clark County would have to record back-to-back -back weeks of under 50. Sports, sponsored by Station Casinos, STN Sports. Download the app and get a bonus up to $100 when you sign up. Raiders interim head coach Rich Passaccio was very clear that he wanted to move on from Sunday's ugly loss in Kansas City and focus on the Cleveland Browns, who the Raiders will play on Saturday. 
you know, I, I've said really, we've had five turnovers. You know, I mean, we're, we're trying to get ready to go play Cleveland. I don't know how much more I can banter around the turnovers in the game or the sacks in the game or what went on. You know, we, if you'd like to ask a question about Cleveland, I'm, I'm all ears. So that, that game's over, and we didn't play well enough to have a chance to win. Now we're on to the next week. Sports betting, sponsored by Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. The Cleveland Browns have dropped to consensus three-point favorites against the Raiders with eight players, including four offensive starters, in doubt for Saturday's game after being placed on the COVID-19 list. The Browns had opened as six-point favorites in Cleveland. The total has also dropped from 44 to as low as 40 at some Las Vegas sportsbooks. Both teams are fighting to stay in the playoff race, with the Browns at 7-6 and, and the Raiders at 6-7. In entertainment, sponsored by DiscoverNevada.com, brought to you by Travel Nevada. A new exhibit is set to debut on the Las Vegas Strip, bringing an Instagrammable mix of selfies and science together. Arcadia Earth is set to open December 23rd using everything from plastic bags to scent technology to promote environmental awareness. Visiting Arcadia is going to be an immersive journey through 15 rooms. In each room you will learn about climate change but also what you can do to make a real impact while having fun. Tickets go on sale Wednesday. In Lifestyle, sponsored by Glittering Lights at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Las Vegas is officially America's most fun city. That's according to Wallet Hub. Las Vegas ranked number one for its restaurants, dance clubs per capita, and number of attractions among 182 cities. Others in the top five include Orlando, Atlanta, Miami, and New Orleans. Go, 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 nice go, go. Down at the Las Vegas ballpark in Summerlin, Golden Knights fans got to meet Chance, the mascot. This night of giving welcomed both sports and holiday fans to the Enchant Christmas show on Monday. Proceeds went to the Golden Knights Foundation supporting local nonprofits. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you're watching from YouTube, don't forget to subscribe to the Review Journal's YouTube channel for more great content. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. We'll see you back here tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.